What's up you guys? So I am so excited. I am setting up to plan my day. This is my usual morning routine. I make my coffee, I come set up on the floor in here and I map out my entire day. And I figured this would be the perfect way to introduce you to everything that we've been working on for the past probably over six months. We have managed to keep this under wraps for a pretty long time and I think we did a pretty good job at it. What we did is we collected all of the information from reviews, from your opinions, your emails, your messages, and things that you've shared with us that you wanted to see us create at The Daily Grind. And so we tried our best to do it all, and I think that your mind is probably gonna be blown. So I have a lot to share with you today, so get comfy, get cozy. I'm also gonna map out my day with you um, and share everything. So just before we get started, all of this, every single thing that I'm showing you, will be launching on April 12th, which is a Wednesday. We always do a 3 p.m. launch just to make it so that everybody can be a part of it, as many people as possible from all over the world. So we do 3 p.m. Eastern, noon Pacific. The hour ahead will be exclusive to our subscribers on Instagram, as well as anybody in our Daily Grind accountability group. They get a little password to gain access to the VIP window to be able to shop an hour before anybody else, before anything sells out. So. Let me introduce you to the morning routine collection. This will become a core collection. You've gotten a couple sneak peeks through the sticker launch, which will now make a lot more sense. But what we did is we tried to encompass everything that you guys love about the daily grind. And if you're an OG on YouTube and you've been following for a long time, there's gonna be pieces of this that are super special to you that you recognize, and it is just very dear, near and dear to my own heart and truly to my core who I am. So let's jump into this. So we're gonna be introducing a brand new system of planning. This was one of the biggest projects for the past year that we were trying to innovate and create. And one thing that even just for my own planning system, I really wanted to be able to have interchangeable covers as well as pages. This allows for so much less waste, so much more productivity. If you miss a day, you just move the page. So that was one of the biggest things that we wanted. We wanted a disc bound system that was sturdy and durable. So these are the three colors that we'll be launching. We've got black, white, and gray to start with a lot more in the works in the future. And the covers will be interchangeable. So when we do a seasonal launch, you no longer have to get an entire planner, which is amazing. But what's even more to me exciting is not only the durability of these covers and the interchangeable factor, but the quality. So one thing that we heard from you guys was if you're putting the planner in your backpack or in your luggage, you wanted it to stay as like top notch quality as possible. So we opted to improve the designs and add these little corners. So now that we've kind of introduced you to the system of the disc bound, and I'm going to talk about the discs in a second, can we talk about the designs of the morning routine? So these were created and hand drawn by me and I am so excited about them. And I actually also have, which I'll probably share on our daily grind Instagram page. I have the behind the scenes of these. So this all stemmed one day I was trying to come up with the collection. And sometimes, you know, you get a little creativity block and I was just seated on the floor planning my day with my usual stuff, you know, my little fluffy slippers, I got the candle, and then Carl kind of sets up on the blanket and I had the planner and I went, this is it. It's just, it's the morning routine. It's, it's the planning morning routine. And so that became one of the first covers. So Carl made an appearance on one of the covers. So this was literally my setup. So the cover has Carl here with the fluffy slippers that you guys all know and love, my tray with my own planner, the OG planner, candle lit, and then we've got the Daily Grind logo across, kind of paying tribute to like the older designs also. And then as per usual, we've got a quote on the back of this one. And then this has the white discs to tie in like the white, the white slippers and the white paper and everything. So this one's very bright and airy. The back has a similar design just with the quote. And then on the inside, as per usual, we tried to do a challenge for you to be able to follow. So this is a 30 day productivity challenge on the inside. And then on the back, what we wanted to do was be able to highlight some of our previous customers and create a form of motivation. So one thing that I always had in mind was 
what would make me want to use this planner? Like what would help me get through it cover to cover, which is how we've dubbed the Daily Grind Planner. And for me, what would motivate me is to hear success stories. So we grabbed some of our favorites. They're on the inside. So if you are one of them, amazing. So we tried to grab a bunch of different ones. So this is the Reading Nook one. So they all have their own appropriate titles. And now hopefully it makes a little bit more sense to you as to why Carl and the coffee and the slippers were a part of the stickers. The stickers all go perfectly, like the color tones and everything with the launch. And what's really cool is this was taken and created. So the finish on this is really almost, it's not a photo. It's like a watercolor drawing when you look really, really closely. The other launch that we're gonna talk about is a part of the cover. So these were taken months and months ago. So this is the first one that I absolutely love. The second part of the collection is the one with the black binding, the corners match this one, and this one is the coffee bar area, which I'm sure you recognize, that's in every single morning routine that I've ever done. We've got the planner in there, the little kettle, like all of my own things, the daily grind mug. So the back of this one says, in four months you can either be in the same place or a better place, it's go time. And obviously all of the planners are four months, so this hopefully is like the motivation that someone would need to get going. So on the inside of this one, we have the morning routine, healthy and productive ideas, and then same thing in the back, we have our success stories. So everything really glides well. I'll get to the inside and show you all of that, which has also changed. So there is a lot new and I can feel you on the other side of the screen right now, losing your mind. And if you are, comment down below because I love seeing these. So this is the gray one. I mean, I'm trying to figure out, I always selfishly am like, which one am I gonna use? And I don't really know. I mean, because the dog on the cover is mine, I'm tempted to use one of those. So this one, what he, by the way, I didn't pose him like this. These are literally moments in my own life that I thought, yep. So this one is the sunrise alarm clock. You know this, if you've ever seen a morning routine video of mine, you know that I use my sunrise alarm clock. I have my little Mickey train here. One of my books that I've read. <laughs> you could probably pull which cover it is actually, if you know me well enough. And then I had my planner here with some markers, my water glass, and then Mr. Carl in the corner. So these ones are like a matte gray. I really like this one. I'm kind of leaning towards this one, just gonna shoot it to you straight. At first they will ask you why you are doing it, soon they will ask you how you did it. This quote is so special to me. If you've ever heard me share my story about when I first started my business 10 years ago, this was something that I wrote on a sticky note and I stuck it to my computer, the top of my computer screen to just remind myself. So that's, every single quote that I've put is so special. Um, and one will maybe speak to you a little bit more than another, but that's that's really the goal. And on the inside of this one is a 30 day self care challenge. And then same thing on the back is four more success stories. So I don't know if you can tell, but the cover is super durable. It's not one that's gonna fall out. They clip into the disc binding super easily, clip back in, um, and the actual binding matches the rings. Can we talk about the rings? So we did so much research. We wanted to bring something that was effectively priced for you guys so that it didn't break the bank, that it was still great quality. But what's really cool is the binding is so sturdy and so are the rings. So we wanted to create a ring that would not break. And through our research, what we found is anything that has a hole in the middle can actually crack. And We've heard stories of this from you guys. Whenever I started sharing the sneak peeks of this with my subscribers on Instagram, a lot of them were like, yeah, that happened to me. So we wanted it to be durable, quality, glide really well. So there was so much testing and you may have picked it up. I've gotten quite a few DMs on Instagram whenever I'm panning my own desk that you guys caught the planner in the background and you saw the disc binding. So I always try and test things out myself. So I had this little baby for months that nobody knew about. So see, I'm using, I'm on my fourth month right now going through this. So what I'm gonna do, and this is what's really cool, is let's say you wanna switch out your cover or your planner or your paper. I'm gonna literally take this out and put it into one of these babies and switch it out. Um, this will also allow in the future, again, you guys know me, I'm not really good with secrets, but this will allow us in the future to create expansion packs that are specific to fitness, mental health, um, budgeting, tracking, all that type of stuff. So that's, that is something that's in the works. Again, no secrets. Um, and you just, I don't know if you saw how I did that. Like I've gotten really good at it, but you just kind of pinch it all back in and 
your pages are secure in the disc binding. So kind of awesome, kind of cool. So let's go through the inside. So I talked about everything that we tried to address in terms of the cover, the cover corners, is that what we would call them? The little covers to protect the corners and the integrity of the actual planner. I mean, if you invest in a planner like this, you're probably taking it with you everywhere and we don't want it to get damaged. We want it to stay pretty. So you will notice a quality difference in this, which was huge. So let's use this one to go through and I will show you. So the first page has changed a little bit. There's a little bit different information. Um, our VIP support group that I talk about all the time is listed right on the first page. So you don't have to go looking for it anymore. If you have ever purchased anything from the daily grind, you have access to that support group and it's a really fun group and you get the bonus that that VIP window, which is I think some people's favorite thing. And I always go live in there too on launch days. So one thing that I decided to add was just based off of how many questions we were getting on it, give me, you know, Angie, can I have examples of 10 goals? So the idea of the daily grind is that you have your top 10 goals for the month. And sometimes some of you guys have trouble like jog jogging your memory or just figuring out how to truly utilize every single page. So I created example pages. These are dubbed pages. These aren't my own goals, but they do stem from goals that I have had and just the way that I use the planner and the way that it's intended to be used. So this way, you no longer have empty spaces. If you are going to have a daily grind planner, we are talking about this right now because I see this way too many times where some people will fill out like seven of the 10 goals. Don't rob yourself of those last three goals. Use all your 10 goals. So hopefully this helps you figure out how to utilize the planner. Um, so we have the month in review example page, the month ahead example page, and then and the planner literally kicks it off with this. The week ahead, page, which we're going to get into that has completely changed and I'm obsessed with it. And then the daily page. So you now have four example pages right when you get started. So we have four example pages for you to be able to kick off the planner with. So you really feel like you understand what you're going through. Now, the other thing that we heard a lot about was your four month vision ahead and your four month habit tracking sheet. There was no reason for there to be the, the part that I just showed that I had at the beginning of my own planner. There was no reason for that to be at the beginning and at the end. So now you'll be able to track your progress at the end of the planner. So you can have a little habit tracking moment. I'm going to show you what it looks like at the back versus at the front. So the original version had what I showed you, this habit tracking score sheet at the front. We wanted to be able to provide a space that you not only had your room to be able to track the four months ahead and to map out basically your calendar of the next four months, but also have space to write any habits or goals down here. Then you now have way more room. And that was something that we had heard a lot was just give me more space to write. So your four month habit tracking score sheet is now at the back and there is a full page for it. And then your four month vision is still there at the back so that you can look back. That's one of my favorite things to do. When you're done the entire planner, you can go through and do, oh, this is, you can go through and do your four month review at the end. So this is your goal tracking sheet at the end. Everything is still in the dot grid, just like it was. We just really tried to listen to you guys with having more space to write if you do have a larger handwriting or you just wanted to be able to write more things. So we allotted for that without, and this was the, the challenge that we ran into was how do we give more space without creating a bulkier planner because it's easy to just add more pages, but how do you do that with still keeping the integrity of something that you can travel with? So I feel like we were super successful in that. It took a lot of trial and error, a lot of testing, but it went really, really well. So I think we're moving on to one of my favorite things now. So we've got the four month vision ahead that has changed. The example pages, we talked about that. Your month ahead page, this was something that was super important to you guys. So you wanted more space on your calendar to be able to write. So we went from about three dot grids width to four. Yeah. So now there's four. So it's a little bit bigger. You have more space to write and then you have more space to also write your top 10 goals. So that's a little bit bigger. And then I don't know if you saw the back of that page. This was something that I really wanted because this was how back in the day, whenever I used to draw all of this, I wanted a space to list either my new clients, my goals for the month, the habits that I wanted to enact, any just big ideas that I had. So at the back of every month ahead page, so you'll have four of these in throughout the planner, you have a list goals and thoughts, and then you can put what this is. So let's say for you, if you wanna sign up 
20 new customers in your business or have 20 new YouTube videos or you wanna do a certain workout program and these are your goals for the month or you just wanna keep a master list so you can put the title of that and then keep it all here so it's just a blank checklist for you, which for me, that is something that I really, really wanted. So I was excited about that. So let's clip these back. I don't know if you can see how I'm doing it. It like they clip in super easily and you kind of get used to how to do it. And it's just super easy to take them in and out, which I love. So the list goals, we talked about the habit tracking sheet, the month ahead, there's more space. There's also more blank pages. So after that list goals and thoughts, there's a full bl extra blank page. So it just gives you way more space to be able to write your own stuff. And if you love doodling, then you're good to go. The week ahead page. Now I'm just gonna tell you my own opinion. I felt almost when you're, especially when you're starting a new month and you have to do the month ahead, then week ahead, then the day, you're writing your top 10 goals way too many times. So the week in review week ahead page is the new way that we're gonna do this and you no longer have to relist your top 10 goals because you're gonna do it in the daily page anyways. But what I truly believe in, and I've shared this before and I didn't understand why we didn't have it, so that's why I wanted to create it. I'm big on self-assessment. So at the end of your week, let's review your week and then plan your week. So now it's a split page. So you've got your week in review, week ahead. The other thing that we wanted to do was not have you feel like you had to start on a Sunday. So now this is blank and our, our sticker kits, we have a week ahead sticker kit that those stickers fit perfectly in these rectangles. So now it all makes sense. So this is used at the bottom here for you to schedule out your week. You will have a space for your top priorities of the week, your mantra of the week, which you can use the quote stickers for that. And then your week in review, you're gonna rate it out of a scale of one on 10. Three great things that happened this week. This was actually something, cute little story. When I was little and my dad would pick me up from school if I was in like a sassy mood and starting to like complain about Sally such and such that made fun of me, he'd be like, pause, three good things that happened today. And it kind of became our little routine when he would drive me home from school. So this is in honor of my dad, but it's a really cool thing to just look back on the week and be like, what are three amazing things that happened this week? So just a little spot to write that, thoughts on the past week. So. Examples of things that I've written, like I felt like I was really on track this week. I think my morning routine could go a little bit better. I'd love to wake up like 30 minutes prior and just kind of brainstorm like where you want your week to go. So then after you do your scale of one to 10, so the way I do this is I just put some little X's and you can use, the stickers all kind of make sense now. Not that they didn't before. So there's little X's here that you can use. There's the arrows, there's the icons. So you can grab some of these to fill it out too, or you can just fill them out with a color, which we're gonna talk about. Which top 10 goals did I work on the most here? And then which top 10 goals do I want to focus on this week? So you already have your top 10 goals in front of you and that way you know what you're going into for the week. So I personally, like it's one of my favorite changes that we made is the week ahead page. Then we talked about the list pages. There's more blank pages, the week in review. The daily page has stayed the same for the most part, except we wanted to give you one feedback that we had heard was can you give me more space for scheduling? So we took off all of the timestamps except for 4 a.m., noon, and 10 so that you can kind of guide it. And this way, you know, first of all, it's starting earlier. So one feedback that we heard was, what if I wanna like wake up at 4.30? It was like, how do I have that in there? So we just moved it a little bit earlier and now you have way more space to write what your schedule looks like. The paperweight is still the same, no bleed, super good quality. It glides really, really well on the discs. So needless to say, we're super proud of this. Um, this is gonna be a part of our core collection. Again, it's called the morning routine, it's super special. And I can't believe that I actually have more to show you. Like this is the funnest video ever. <laughs> I love being able to finally share everything because I'm such a sharer that I'm like, I can't keep this a secret anymore. Now, what we'll be launching at the same time as these, and I do want to note that there will be bundles. You'll be able to see, we'll try and share the bundle options before launch day, but we're going to bundle things to be able to create a discounted rate for you if you do want more than one planner or a planner with a workbook or the highlighters slash markers and pens. So let's talk about that. These have been in my videos on my Instagram for months because I've been testing them out. We didn't wanna launch anything that we didn't truly love. And I think if anybody has an opinion on markers and pens, 
it would be this girl. We also wanted a really good price on these. So first of all, the packaging is the cutest thing of my life. So there's the original dot grid packaging, like the like our page is, the pages of the Daily Grind is the background of the box, then you've got the Daily Grind logo, highlighter collection, 12 piece. So you guys are so cute. In the Facebook group and in the feedback that I heard whenever we first kind of just, you know, shared the, the behind the scenes of this, you guys were like, I hope it's a 10 pack. I did you one better. It's a 12 pack. So this is how it comes. There's two little containers and they're all the same tones as what's on. Like they're like a pastel highlighter and they're so pretty. So it's a 12 pack. You get all of the colors. It's not like you're being sent like half of it. And they also have the little, the little daily grind logo on them and they're so pretty. So you can either do, I've done a couple different things. I've either used one color. I've used alternated like this past month I did dark green and light green. Like these are the actual ones that I used on the planner for the past month. And I will show you what a day, what a day in Angie's life looks like planned with the highlighters and the stickers. So this is what I did this past month. I was doing dark green, light green, and then using all the stickers. This is literally my own planner. So I love them. I love that they are a dual tip. So the thicker side, I'll just pull out one of the green ones. So for me, I'm going to take all of these out and just put them in like a little cup on my desk. So there is the thicker side that is the perfect width to fit the rectangles with your top 10 goals. And then there's the thinner side for the details. And it is so pretty when it's on a page. I love it. And we, for us, it was really, really so important to be able to test these out for months to make sure that they didn't glitch, to make sure that they didn't like bleed through. That was happening to me with my other highlighters that I had got like on Amazon. So we made sure that these were great quality, affordable, and amazing. The other thing we'll be launching is pens. You guys, if you have followed me for any amount of time, you know how picky I am with pens. So we wanted to launch a assortment, like a rainbow color. So if you don't wanna use a highlighter and you wanna track all different colors, you can still do that. I love, I'm just gonna be honest, I love the dark blue pen, like the navy blue or the black pen. They're the ones I use the most, but the pinks are like, so pretty too. So they come in a full rainbow pack. These are a 12 piece also, and they are a 0 0.5. So no secret, I love a Muji pen. We tried to get as close as we possibly could to a Muji pen. And this baby, she glides and she's so pretty and she just feels so good. Oh my God, I love her. Like honestly, so proud of this pen and same. We tested, if you would have seen the amount of different prototypes that we went through, insane. Like insane. That's why it took so long to create this, but we are so proud of it. And this also comes in like a really cute little packaging, it says Daily Grind on the corner and everything will be launching on the 12th. This was literally one of my favorite videos ever to film and just hang out with you guys and chat. I feel like we need more of these. So the stickers are all available in sticker kits on the website. You can go get those now or you can wait for launch day, but those have already launched. The blueprint workbook, the feedback, I just wanna say personally, the feedback that I'm hearing on that, that was one of our, we, we thought that it was gonna be one of the biggest launches, but we knew that this was coming. So that's why we never said that that was the biggest launch of the year, because we knew that a new planner system was gonna change the game for the daily grind and for our customers, which makes us so happy. And this way, just on my heart of hearts, I don't ever want you to plan your day and feel defeated. I want you to be able to, let's say if you missed yesterday, that you don't have to see that empty page in your planner or rip it out and waste it. So now if you miss a day and you're like, oh, I was traveling yesterday and I didn't plan. You can literally take out the blank page and move it to the day after. And that way you don't have empty pages, you're not wasting, you can fully use your, your planner, but also feel a sense of consistency and motivation that you truly do now use your planner cover to cover and that way you feel good about your day and you actually get stuff done. So between the feedback that we've heard on the current planner, but also the blueprint, I just wanna take the time to say that as the person that wrote it, it means the world to me. Whenever you guys are telling me the feedback about the workbook and just what it's doing for your life, it, it means so much. So I'm so excited for this. I'm so excited for what's to come. There is still some other things that we're, all, we're always working on something. So 
stay tuned. Follow the Instagram page, the Daily Grind Instagram page, as well as my Instagram if you ever want any updates. Um, and if you do have a planner, make sure you get in the Facebook group so you can get early access. My subscribers will also get it. I'll be sharing the password the day of launch to be able to get in an hour before. I'm also gonna be doing some giveaways for my subscribers. So I'm gonna do some gift cards and giveaways for launch and we'll be just divulging more details of this and sharing some plan with me's and some videos on our Instagram page. So I love you guys. April 12th, I'll see you there, 3 p.m. Eastern, noon Pacific. You guys are absolutely amazing and happy launch day. I'm super, super pumped and I will see you guys then. Bye dudes.